Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring battles from Evan7777 um, I know he's been doing auto rec all this season and he got as high as like low 2800s but unfortunately it was a little bit too difficult he wanted to make sure he did get to legend this season so he had a chance for you know rewards and shiny Pikachu Libre and all that stuff but I believe he'll be doing some more auto recs uh, in the future so definitely a look out for that so he decided to use uh, Probably the bulkiest um, uh, Great League team that I've seen to date, um, which is Azumarill. He has, actually has a rank one shiny Bastion, and then uh, the Community Day uh, Psychic Umbreon. Obviously, you have to use Community Day <laughs> move uh, Umbreon, whether it's Psychic or Last Resort. Uh, so he said he shot up like 500 points in like 10 sets. Uh, with with his team, it's like a ridiculous team. Obviously, super bulky. Some of the challenging things I could see in this team would be like um, a Venusaur lead, uh, for example. Uh, since it does do well uh, against, well, actually, Bastion wins in the one shield if it if it's uh, if it's an XL one, which is which is this one is. Um, and yeah, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started uh, with the battles. I'd like a Surfetch here would be would be pretty tough as well. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Defense Deoxys, also a little bit challenging here. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, see how he's going to do here. So this is generally a favorable matchup for for the Defense Deoxys. Uh, going to go for the Hydro Pump, if they have Thunderbolt. If they don't have Thunderbolt, which one, this one doesn't appear to have, then this should be a favorable matchup for the Azumarill. Um try to catch move there I imagine that they rock slide here and then try to like double psycho boost or something I'm not entirely sure uh, I'm assuming this is a psycho boost now yeah they psycho boost here and they're actually gonna stay switch into uh, Umbreon here um, I'm actually not quite entirely sure why the safe switch happened there uh, but this is okay uh, with psychic psychic and uh, Last Resort do the exact same amount of damage. The only thing, the only benefit of Psychic against in the Zoomerol matchup is that there's a chance for, the 10% chance for a one stage defense drop, uh, which uh, honestly doesn't flip the matchup, uh, but would mean that, like, if you get an early one, that uh, the Psychics would be doing more damage. And as you can see, if they got the Psychic debuff on the first one here, this Zoomerol would be like. In, like uh, almost KO at the point it definitely would still live okay gonna go for the foul play here I'm not uh, it, I probably wouldn't shield this um, so we're probably gonna go into Bastion on here and they come into De defense Deoxys this is almost for sure a psycho boost because uh, oh, you wouldn't want to throw a rock slide here psycho boost would do more damage plus they would get KO in the smackdown um, we're gonna see how they want to play out here and they come back into a zoom roll. Um, yeah, I think that's the that's definitely the right call there. Um, let's see what they have in the back. It is an Umbreon here. Oh man, this is this is pretty rough for um, for them. So why would they go? Um, Okay, gonna go gonna throw the uh, play rough here I'm assuming try to catch a foul play uh, I probably wouldn't shield this okay or we're gonna shield it this is this fine too uh, they do have a psychic I guess that's the reason why they didn't go into that matchup um, and I, yeah, this this should be uh this should be game anyways right so this unfortunately the psychic doesn't KO so they will be able to snarl down here Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we're gonna run into timer. I guess that we're gonna run into timer quite a bit in these type of situations. Um, and I believe this this Bastion has uh, more HP than this uh, Umbreon. Plus, actually, it actually would have been really close there. Um, actually, would have been really close. Uh, that Stone has certainly put them over the uh, put Evan over the edge. So very nicely done. All right, we're gonna go zoom roll into Needle Queen. Oh, she, Needle Queen's pretty tough for this team as well. Um, yeah, actually, really, really tough for this team. Honestly, this uh, Scrafty Double Dark, or this Neo Queen Double Dark team is pretty bad. Uh, gonna go for the. I think you have to switch here to bait out the Scrafty, but. 
Oh man, Neo Queen kind of can run through this team. Um, I'm assuming that they Earth Power here, but they might just double Poison Fang, uh, which is which actually probably would yield more damage here. Um, unfortunately, I believe they have Scrafty in the back, right? They're, this is why they say switch uh, Umbreon. And I just don't see like any way you can get past the Scrafty, especially since now you have no neutral moves with uh, with uh, with Umbreon. Like everything is resistant, um, and the the snarls and foul plays are tw two stage resisted. They're not going to shield this. This is this is pretty much game, right? This Needle Queen double dark team is too too strong for this team. But let's see, maybe it's maybe it's not. Uh, I would I would be very surprised. Um, Do you throw the foul play here? Probably gonna try to catch. And uh, they're gonna throw the foul play here. Uh, I just don't see a way to win here. They're gonna have a uh, Scrafty in the back, right? This is, this is impossible. Yeah, they have Scrafty in the back. Gonna have to throw the Psychic. And maybe if they had last resort, like there's just no way, right? Like they're just not gonna shield any of these. You would have to hope for like two there's just no way. There's just no way here. We'll be able to make it to another one. Yeah, there's just no way here. Scrafty kinda runs through the back line there. And Needle Queen's a little bit too strong for this team. Okay, so this is a good lead. Uh here comes Venusaur. So Venusaur is a pretty tough switch in but uh with umbreon it becomes a much more consistent matchup um these psychics do quite a bit of damage um but it doesn't ko we'll put uh a venusaur like just above the red okay uh well in this case i did put them into the red uh maybe it's just my venusaur uh when i get hit by a psychic it didn't do quite that much damage probably not gonna okay i was gonna say uh gonna have to take one of these because i think they will beat them to the move yeah yeah okay gonna double shield here interesting and then uh okay they come into gfest here um mm, not the most comfortable situation here uh the uh, the zoom roll did take like one vine whip so but it should still be Two, two, um, two EQ more than two EQs to KO. Okay, they let it go. Oh, okay, they come into save a lot here. Interesting. Uh, this should be game now. Um, they're probably gonna look to foul play and shadow claw or try to shadow claw down. It's probably their best course of action. Yeah, this foul play should KO the Azumarill, or even if it doesn't, one shadow claw after that should KO it. Um, obviously gonna come back into Umbreon and this is this is game over they need to re return this uh, Umbreon yeah, which is just not gonna be possible they tried to get, I guess catch a return but it really doesn't matter here this uh, XL Bastion is gonna be way too tanky and we're gonna have Azumarill into Hypno oh man likely this is another double dark team um, so probably should try to catch a move here um, this is gonna be a okay. I I just can't see how you can stay in this matchup. Uh, okay. Okay, or Meta Jam. Okay, something in the back. It might be double psychic team. No, not double. It is double psychic team. Obviously, they have to have something to protect against. This is a crazy team. Like, it's a... Uh, I guess Sable Lee is not, like, that common here. Uh, they do have Ice Punch here. So they must have something for Sableye. It might be their own Umbreon. It might be their own Umbreon or Azu. Uh, we'll live this as well. And then uh, get this Foul Play off, uh, which actually will come pretty close to KOing this Medicham. They did get extra counter through. Okay, obviously gonna come to zoom roll here. Uh, okay, gonna be able to land this player up before they get the psychic off, which is actually really huge. Gonna should we should immediately switch here. 
Okay. All right. This person has lots of patience here. Uh, probably should shield once, just in case it's a focus blast. Likely just a thunder punch bait. Uh, but they they are staying in. I would just double shield here. Uh, they okay. They throw another thunder punch. Um, likely they don't have um, focus blast here. But let's see what's in the back. It is, oh my gosh, it's a Talon Flame. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> All right, this is, this is a really strange team. Okay, so Swampert is a little bit of an issue for this team. It's still very playable as the Azumarill. Um, obviously, uh, Swampert does very well against um, uh, Bastion on here. Oh, they have Earthquake. What the heck? Okay. Uh, gonna throw it two bubbles, but they, this, it gives up an extra... Mud shot there, which is oh my gosh, they know shield in there, okay. Okay. Um obviously this is gonna be another earthquake. And then gonna immediately switch into Umbreon here. Gonna be met by Gavantula. Um Umbreon should actually I believe wins zero shield shield matchup against Gavantula. Mm, okay. Um didn't want to throw the I'm actually kind of surprised not throwing the foul play right away. Probably won't throw one snarl then throw it. Um, looks like they lagged. That's okay though. The the re net result's the same. Um, okay. Um, gonna go for the psychic here. I'm not entirely sure why. It, it does do more damage, um, which is maybe it's maybe it was enough to KO. Okay, here comes Skarmory here. Uh, gonna let this, gonna, just gonna let this Umbreon go down, right? There's no point in uh, switching out here. Yeah, obviously come passes on here. Gonna come into Azumarill, and this is, this is game over. Uh, very weird back line, okay. Um, so, XL Azumarill actually beats uh, Empoleon when it has Hydro Pump. Uh, you can just straight Hydro Pump and win this matchup. Uh, that's actually like how ridiculous uh, XL Azumarill is. It's gonna throw the play rough here. Honestly, I would just straight Hydro here, because you get to uh, yeah. Well, get the extra bubble in. It looks like they got an extra waterfall in, um, but I think this is okay too. The next uh, play rough doesn't KO, but should be able to bubble down here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so this is very important to win the switch here. Because a lot of times they have uh, Manda Buzz and Charm Ninetales in the back. So kind of need this alignment here. They should live this and then, uh, or he should live this and be able to farm down. And then just play rough uh, wherever it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ends up being okay. Um, that's very strange here. <laughs> Pikachu Libre. I was like, what the heck? Okay. They do go for the flying press here. Uh, they go for another flying press. This thing is so spammy. Should be able to reach uh, two foul plays though before they reach another flying press. So Umbreon should win the zero versus uh, Pikachu Libre. They end up shielding. Um, let's see what they want to do here. Oh man, this is a max out Pikachu Libre. Gonna let this go. Um, probably should, uh, just, uh, smack down, down. Yep, very nice. And here comes Mew. Very interesting. Let's see if they have, uh, Surf. If they have Surf, uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter here. I'm pretty sure Bastion wins the, the one shield, uh, as XL. Unless they have Focus Blast, which they, which they might, because they're, no, they don't. Okay. Uh, okay, gonna shield this. Mm. And then gonna be able to land this uh, Hydro Pump onto onto the Mew. And this should be more than enough to, to KO. Alright, we're going to this next game here. Azumarill into Azumarill. Um, obviously should stay. This is like a under-leveled Azumarill though. Um, it's probably an XL when they ran out of XL candy. Because... Um, for sure, for sure they can power up like at least probably like three more times. Um, maybe twice. 
to get an extra bubble through. Quite a not the most exciting match here. And uh, I'm gonna land this play rough here. And then probably we'll just throw the next play rough right away or try to catch on Bastion. Yeah, we'll catch on Bastion, which is nice. And it has a play rough banked. Oh, here comes Obstagoon. It's a really good thing. Well, I don't, I don't, I, I just don't see how they can win this game here. Um, we'll reach the Stone Edge. Yes. Okay. Hopefully, decent CMP here, but the odds of that are pretty low. They almost for sure don't shield this. Um, do get pretty low here. Uh, so obviously coming to the zoom roll here. Don't shield the first one. Okay, you want to go for the extra bubble, which I think is nice. I think you just try to bubble down here, right? Okay, you shield this and then bubble down. <sighs> okay, it's King KO two bubbles. You cannot, uh, but that's okay. That's that worked out fine. All right, gonna go for the hydro pump here. Um, gonna need to switch here. Okay, this is gonna be pretty pretty tough here. Um, I honestly don't see the win con here, but okay, okay. Oh man, gonna need to catch a move. Like okay, this of the I don't I'm not sure why he undercharged that, but I guess the thing is like, like uh, the the lunge wouldn't one shot from here, right? But kind of needs to farm this down. Uh, maybe if he didn't undercharge. If he didn't undercharge, maybe he could get it done. Uh, I think if he didn't undercharge, he would be able to farm it down. Okay, gonna need to do one more then switch here. Even then, this is pretty tough here. Ooh, very nice. But did they go over by one? Okay. It looks like they got two there for some reason. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Well, I think if we were through one and then went, uh, and then through, then may, would have been able to sneak the second one in. Because he threw two snarls there, the timing was just uh, unfortunate there. So obviously it's going to be an earthquake. And... See, I like throwing after three bubbles. Because they can only give them one turn. Uh, trying to throw this thing is just too risky here. Okay, we'll be able to live this uh, earthquake, but uh, they'll they end up baiting here, which is uh, mm, this is okay still though. Okay, I'm gonna double shield here. Um, mm, okay, so you get five more bubbles, then they get another EQ. Okay, they let it go. They come into Gavantula. Okay. Okay. Um, well, that's not great here. That's not great. Um, but you kind of had to switch there. Oh, man. This obstacle is going to basically farm all the way down. But maybe, they can, maybe they'll maybe they get a little bit greedy here. And uh, you can force a shield. We're gonna see whether or not they have. Uh, oh, okay. They appear to have gunk shot, um, which actually might be okay here because you can probably trick the obstacle into throwing the gunk shot into. Oh, we'll get a shield here. That's actually really nice. Yeah, this obstacle is getting greedy. Oh, that's actually works out really well here. It's actually worked out beautifully. There's no way this uh, Obscune... Well, the Obscune might be able to live a... Uh, live. Oh, they discharged here? Oh, that's kind of weird, to be honest. Uh, uh, well, 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 one night slash... Um, okay. Uh, I don't think a night slash KO is here. And then plus like, um, yeah, yeah, the, the, that helps you out way too greedy, unfortunately. 
uh, for them. All right, we're going to have, okay, they're coming to Defense Deoxys here. Pretty strong, uh, com sorry, pretty common team. Um, g -fist with a Defense Deoxys in the back. Uh, likely a Grass. Um, a lot of times it's Tropius. Uh, sometimes it's Venusaur. end up shielding that um okay gonna go for the extra snarl there interesting not deciding to throw beforehand um okay gonna throw one snarl then throw the move which is uh, my preferred method here as well uh they're gonna let it go and then gonna go it's gonna throw the move here And we're gonna just unleash a bunch of foul plays here. There's not really too much more to say here. Uh, looks like they're gonna try to farm all the way down. Okay, no, they don't. They're good counting by the opponent. Um, and throw the rock slide here. Gonna go Azu. Yeah, it's Tropius here. And this is this is game over. It's not too much this uh, air slash Tropius can do. If it was Razor Leaf Tropius, it certainly would put up a better fight. But because the fast moves are double resisted here. This is really not too much it can do. They obviously can throw these leaf blades, but you can see as an XL Bastion, this just like does a, a laughable amount. Yeah, yeah, they, they realize it's over. The G Fist has a lot of energy, but unfortunately, uh, it's not going to be quite good enough here. I believe it reaches Legend with this set here. And I think there's like one more fun battle here, he told me at the end. Okay, so I, I don't know if this is part of his auto rack or just part of his, I'm not sure, fun. Anyways, he has a, I believe this is XL Meltan, shiny, is that shiny Meltan? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, can I hit the, it's steel type, obviously. Um, this should be a payback, right? Oh, they Psy shocked. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm gonna throw the... Um, uh, weather ball here should be a CMP tie. Okay. Okay. Oh man, that's bad. That's bad. Gonna. Oh, yeah, no earthquake here is pretty rough in this matchup. Should, should be able to do like get it pretty low here. Okay. No bubble through. That's actually pretty lucky there. Um, this should be a play rough here. Probably gonna switch, right? Or try to switch. Okay, let's see if they decide to shield this. I think they're at three, so they need two more. Oh man, just short of it. Um, zero shields is, oh, they, they, they decide to ice beam there, interesting. Could easily no shield that. They side shock here, which does KO. Um, I like the throwing one mud shot, then throwing the move. That way this, the confusion won't apply. Ooh, that's kind of rough here. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely going to be a GG, unfortunately. Um, well, let's actually see here. Oh, no Thunder Punch. That's 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 rough here. Um, and the Fire Punch wouldn't KO there. It would put them into the, well, we're going to see in a moment. Um, put them into the red. But honestly, they could probably wing attack down this Hypno. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And there, there's no move for this uh, Azumarill to get hit by. Uh, and this should be a GG. But uh, congratulations, Evan, on hitting Legend. Don't forget to check out Legend. Uh, no, <laughs> check out Evan on YouTube. Uh, thank you for sending me the battles all season. Look forward to seeing uh, what you're going to do next with your challenges. Uh, and really amazing gameplay. Anyways, I'm going to leave there. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.